Hello everyone. Welcome back to Preschool Storytime with Miss Bethany. This week, can anyone guess what we're going to talk about? I think you're right. We got apples on the brain. And I'm wearing my special apple earrings today too. All right, before we get started, we have to do our opening song. Everyone knows the song, right? So stand up. Let me see you clap your hands. All right. You know how to do this song. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, okay? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hmm, what do we do next? Stomp our feet. We see you stomp them. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp. All right, next up, we have to shout something. What do we shout? Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! All right, last but not least, we have to do all three. So let me see you go. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Okay, let's go. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap. Clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! All right, good job, you guys. Why don't you have a seat on your bottoms? We're gonna read our first story. And it's called The Starry, what animal is that? Giraffe, you're right. And it's written and illustrated by Andy Bergman, and Simon and & Schuster has given me permission to use this book. All right, you ready? The starry giraffe stumbled upon a plump apple tree, and she was very what? Hungry. The giraffe searched for the most delicious looking apple and plucked it off. And just when she opened her mouth to take a big bite, who popped out of his hole? It's a little mouse. I am hungry, squeaked the little mouse, but I'm much too little to reach those high, high apples. And Giraffe said to Little Mouse, here you go. And Little Mouse said, thank you. And he popped back into his hole. All right, now the starry giraffe turned to find the second most delicious apple on the tree. She picked a rosy red one. Oh, it smelled so good. She could just taste it. And just when she was about to eat it, along came a family of dogs. Pew! And look, the giraffe gave each skunk their own apple. The excited skunk family said, yay! Oh, but all this apple picking made the starry giraffe quite tired. And all of a sudden, an old bunny rabbit thumped up. And the giraffe gave the old bunny a rabbit, an apple. Excuse me. And what animal followed the bunny? What is that? A raccoon. Giraffe gave one apple for him. Ooh, what's that? A slithering snake. He got two apples. See the bulges in his belly. What is that big animal? The rhino carried one off in his lunchbox for later. 
Oh, that poor starry giraffe was hungrier than ever. And how many apples were left on the tree? Do you see it? There's just one little apple. The giraffe looked around to see if anyone else might arrive. But shh, it was all quiet. So the giraffe, look how tall she stretched. She stretched way up high and picked the very last apple. Oh, then there's a little tiny inchworm who stared at the giraffe with a very hungry face. Worms quite like apples. So the giraffe gave the worm the very last apple. Oh, the poor giraffe, her stomach rumbled and grumbled and she was tired and a little sad. After a few moments of rest, the starry giraffe, she stood up tall. And look! All the apple trees. And she ate 27 apples in all. Isn't that funny? There's a whole orchard. All right, good job, you guys. All right. Before we do our next flannel board, we're going to do a song. And it's called an apple tree. So you guys are going to pretend there's an apple tree right here. And what you're going to do is go like this. Stretch your arms way up high. <gasps> way up high in an apple tree. Five little apples <gasps> smiled at me. Can you smile? So now you're going to shake the apple tree. So I shook the apple tree as hard as I could. And one apple fell down. And <gasps> crunch, mm, I ate that apple and it was yummy. All right, stretch your hands up high again. <gasps> Way up high in the apple tree. How many apples are left? Right, four little apples smiled down at me. So I get ready to shake. <gasps> Shook that apple tree as hard as I could. <gasps> and one little apple fell down. So I picked it up and I ate it, crunch, and it was yummy. Okay, guys, ready? Stretch your arms up high again. <gasps> Way up high in the apple tree. How many apples? Three little apples smiled down at me. <gasps> and I shook that tree, shake it as hard as I could. <gasps> and one little apple fell down. I picked that apple up and I went, crunch, mmm, yum, yum, yeah, well, apple is sure yummy. Stretch your arms up again. Two, I'm sorry, way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. Get ready to shake. So I shook that apple tree as hard as I could and one little apple fell down. I picked it up, crunch, mmm. Boy, was that apple good. All right, one more time. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple smiled down at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could, and one little apple fell down. So I picked it up, crunch. Ooh, was it yummy. Are there any apples left in the tree? No. And you know what's wrong? I have a tummy ache. Five apples is too many. All right. You guys, look over here at the flannel board. Have a seat. You'll see something on the board. What do you see? Apples? You're right. Let's count how many apples there are. One, two, three, four, five. You guys are so smart. Good job. All right. Five little apples were hanging on a tree. Guess what? The farmer didn't care about the apples. So along comes a, what's that? A horse. What do you think he's going to do? <gasps> crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. He loved it. 
How many apples are left? Four. You guys are so smart. So four little apple trees. Apples hung in the trees. Guess who doesn't care? That farmer, he doesn't care about the apples. So along comes a, what is that animal? A cow? Ooh, what do you think he does? He eats that apple, right? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Boy, was it good. Uh-oh, how many apples are left? Three, good job, you guys. Three little apples hanging in the tree. Now who doesn't care again? That farmer doesn't care. So along comes a, hmm. what is that animal? A piggy? And what does he do? Crunch, 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 he eats up that apple. All right, how many apples are left? Two, you guys are so smart. Two little apples hung in the tree. And who doesn't care again? That farmer don't doesn't care. So along comes a, what is that? A goat. And he goes over to the apple and he goes, crunch, 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 and he eats the apple. Uh-oh, how many apples are left? Just one, one little apple hung in the tree. And who doesn't care? That farmer doesn't care. So along comes a, hmm. a sheep. And the sheep goes crunch, 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 and it eats the apple. <gasps> How many apples are left? None. So, but next fall, when all the apples come back, who do you think is going to come back to visit the tree? <gasps> You're right. The pig, the cow, the horse, the sheep, and the goat. So we'll see them again next fall. Yay! All right. The next song we're going to do is a little bit like the five little monkeys. But instead, we're gonna be five little apples, so we're gonna hang in a tree, so everyone like hang, however you want. Okay, ready? <gasps> five little apples hanging in a tree, <gasps> teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. Can't catch me. Shh, ready, be quiet. Oh, that's Mr. Slinky Worm. He's a little he's a little slinky. And what does he do to the apple? He goes, Crunch! Oh no, how many apples are left? Four, show me four fingers. Ready? Four little apples hanging in a tree. Teasing Mr. S Slinky Worm, can't catch me. Oh, goes Mr. Slinky Worm. He's a little, he's a little slinky. And what does he do? Crunch! Uh-oh, how many apples are left? Three, ready? Three little apples hanging in a tree. <gasps> Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Worm. He's a little, he's a little slinky. <gasps> Crunch! <gasps> oh no, how many apples are left? Two? Oh no, show me two fingers. <gasps> two little apples hanging in a tree. <gasps> Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, quiet as can be. Crunch! Oh no. How many worms? How many apples are left? Just one. I know. So sad. Ready? One more. One little apple hanging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm. Can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Worm. He's quiet as he can be. Crunch! Where are all the apples? Are they in Mr. Worm's belly? <laughs> that was a fun one. Okay. At this point, you're gonna pause the video, and when you check, when you came and picked up your kit that had the craft, you also got a book about apples. So you're gonna read the book about apples, a mom or dad or a parent or guardian, read that book to you. And then when you're done reading the book, go find a round ball. 
like this, okay? And then come back and start the video. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, welcome back. All right, so make sure you have your ball with you, okay? This is our last song, and it involves a ball. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Get your voices ready. Okay, we're gonna drop the apple first, ready? See the apples falling down, falling down, falling down. See the apples falling down, falling down to the ground. All right, now pick the apples up. Pick the apples and throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. Pick the apples and throw them up, up to the sky. All right, let's try it again, ready? So first we're gonna go down, ready? Get your voices ready. See the apples falling down, falling down, falling down. See the apples falling down, down to the ground. Pick the apples and throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. Pick the apples and throw them up, up to the sky. Yay! All right, so last thing. Today we are going to make, sorry, got tangled up, an apple wreath. Isn't it cute? So all you guys are going to do, instructions are in the bag. Read it, it's really simple. And I forgot to say this in the instructions, but if you guys want to write, you can write like happy fall on the apples or some cute little thing. And then you hang it in the child's room or in your room or on your door, wherever you think. That's a great fall decor. Thank you guys for joining me for apples. Um, next week, be on the lookout. We're going to do fall. Fall's coming soon in a couple weeks. Yay! Thank you guys for coming, and I'll see you next week. Bye!